Good morning guys. So today is day four of our holiday and we're starting today off at the Natural History Museum. So you may possibly know that if you've just come from yesterday's vlog. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's head up the steps and see what it's got to offer. And it's beautiful and sunny today. <laughs> Which is very exciting. Like, look at the blue skies, isn't that amazing? So we've had sun, we've had snow, we've had rain, we've had grey days. And today is beautiful. So this is the outside of the museum. I'm sure you all recognize it. It's very large. Beautiful building. We made a slightly rookie error. The museum doesn't open till 10 and we've come for nine. So at least we're going to be front of the queue come 10. We're going to go a little wander in Central Park because it is such a beautiful day. Um, and then we'll come back for like maybe 22 or something. Make sure we're first in the queue and head into the museum. So we just went to this place for a little coffee run before the museum opens. It's called Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. It's down on Columbus, just behind the Natural History Museum. Definitely worth a run there if you're waiting to get into the museum because it's really cute. We've not tried our drinks yet. That is mine, the monstrosity with my cream, which I got made with skimmed milk. The irony, a cookie butter blended thing with whipped cream made with skimmed milk. Um, this has been the healthiest holiday of the world. Really uncomfortable because this line looks really skinny and small and very sad and he's obviously been, you know, taken and stuffed and that makes me sad. But this also makes me very sad. <laughs> this completely incorrect use of the apostrophe. It should merely be a plural lines. There's no need for an apostrophe. Like, lions reach when three and a half years old. Like, really? Lions. There is no need. We are in... Come on, focus. You can see me. I know you can. So yeah, we're in the Natural History Museum. And that's got through. How has that happened? Like, I'm very stressed out. And surely people have said this to them before. Like, complete incorrect use of an apostrophe. I'm wondering how long that's been there for. Yeah, is it now like an in-joke? Is, is it like a recent thing that no one's caught on to yet? Or has that been there for like years and years and years? Who's that? Knows? It's very distressing to me though. Maybe they've now got to the point where they're like, oh. Our incorrect apostrophe, yeah. isn't that hilarious? Yay. I know, it's like, you're supposed to be an educational place. So teach children the correct use of language. Exactly. In addition to history. Yeah. Yeah, there's some elephants. We're well, in the museum, but we've come up to look at the dinosaurs. Now this is the head of one sticking out this room. Look at the size of this. Like, can you actually fathom what that would be like if that was a real well obviously not but you know what I mean like if this was actually like life so this is life size but you know what I mean a walking around making noise thing like oh my word We're still in the Natural History Museum and um, we saw a little kind of um, film thing about the National Parks which was really interesting. We wouldn't have bothered going had it not been including their ticket um, and we weren't really that fussed but it's actually really cool. But we're now looking at the skeletons and this one's in front of me. Isn't this like exactly what a werewolf is modelled on? It is a bear. but. I'm, I'm having serious Harry Potter and the <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban, like exactly that is how right. he kind of yeah, yeah morphed. Up in the, on the hill in the dark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like that exact scene. It's perfectly positioned to be that. It's the hand. Yeah, it, it really looks like. Uh -huh, it, it looks like a human starting to become. <laughs> or becoming. Yeah. During the transition. Yeah. But it, it is indeed a bear. Right guys, I'm going to show you a sloth now. And you all know what a sloth looks like, you know. Zootopia is coming out soon, might already be out by the time this vlog is. We all know what a sloth looks like. Is this what you pictured? This is not what I picture when thinking of a sloth. Wait till I move back. It's the nose that really <laughs> Like, like, I'm gonna move back and try and show you the face on profile. So yeah, yeah, right. 
right, so there's Lindsay. <laughs> but yeah, there's Lindsay next to it. It's the most massive thing. I mean, look at it steel. It's a, it's a sloth. Where did that go? What do you think? That can't still be around. This is the only downside of the sunny day is that now it's reflecting on yes. on my my vlog taking. <laughs> like, just look how beautiful it looks outside, even through the window. Like, the sun is just pouring in. And this was, of course, the day we were doing a museum. But I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Can't even begin to imagine, like, Although the skeleton is big, it's like once you add flesh and fat and muscle and sinew and whatever else, that thing's big. And it's also tiny in comparison to the other titanosaur that we saw earlier. Just look at the size of the head alone. You'd think we didn't have Kelvin Grove or the v &A or any of these multiple museums that we do, but... You think we didn't have a very own name for it, especially in many. Exactly. But still, but still, this is in New York. Oh, so there's the picture, and there's the recreation in real life size. You dumb dumb. Look at the size of this. It's a jellyfish, but look at those tentacles. I'm just. Ugh. I want to spend a lot more time here. I think the next time I come to New York I'm going to have to schedule a whole day just for this museum and this is like the only thing. Oh my word! Look at this! I don't even, uh, I don't even know where the others are and I've just kind of wandered in because I thought they might have come this way. So we've temporarily split up. Lindsay and I decided we wanted more time in the museum. The other guys are like hungry, they want a seat, they want a drink. So like you can always do that. But I would say if you're coming to New York, I am in love with this museum. I've never done this before. And yeah, we've totally underestimated how much time it would take. So I find more time um, and plan better than we did for it. Cause yeah, we've now had to split up because we want more time here. But look at this wheel. So I'm back in this hole that I was in about 10 seconds ago really quickly when I was looking for the other guys. But like, I've shown you it from the front, but look at it from the side. And honestly, my camera is not even remotely conveying like the size of it. It doesn't... You, you look at it on the screen and uh -huh. you're like, that, that doesn't accurately No, what I'm actually it. seeing in front of me. Like, it's massive. And that's what I was saying like, to Lindsay as well, is that when they're in the water, you see them on these nature programs, but they're so elegant in the water that you don't really take in the sheer size. Like, like look at that. It's beautiful. Here are some tiger sharks, which are still very impressive, and I'm not really sure I'd want to be going head to head with any of them, but um, they're slightly more standard size. And then there's a turtle. Really enjoying this like whole scene where you're seeing like above and below the water. So like, yeah, it's very pretty. But Lindsay has just spotted these guys. So let's go down and look at them. Because they look big. So we're down now at the, the northern sea light. And this guy is just very majestic. That's the only, oh no. Yeah, I look at these little babies, especially this one that's lying on his side, and that we want over. Like, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I can't lie. Yeah, it's really not. But I mean, I get that back in the day they just couldn't have, they couldn't have produced this for people to see. But it's still, it's it's still really sad. Like, some of them just look really sad and. Yeah, there's seals over there. I'm not even going to vlog because they're just kind of heartbreaking. But, but. yeah, like it, it's solid. This is the whale from the bottom. If that gives you any more clue as to scale, like, look, there's how many people are fitting under here. Like, you know, there's a person. There's the size of this wheel. But Lindsay also just pointed out like the ceiling in here is really cool because it's, you could tell it was blue, but upstairs, but it's not until we're actually down here and the seat's kind of moving about like properly to make you look like you're under the water. 
It's very soothing in this hall. time at the museum we're about to leave and I'm just gonna do one final pan round of this amazing entrance hall. There's my pal he's from the film but yeah just look at this so you've got these columns this beautiful windows and roof these guys right as you come in like you can't even get them in the same shot properly so there's Rex And this guy who wasn't in the film, so he's not getting as much attention. Um, there's another one just behind him, if you guys can see. You can see that? And then at the other side, more columns. And we're going out through these beautiful columns. And it's just all the most beautiful, beautiful museum ever. I highly, highly, highly recommend coming to this place. Out into the sun. It's so lovely. I know, we're going to walk across Central Park now, which is really exciting because we've not been in Central Park oh, yet. Oh, this, um, like this is my dream. Yeah. Across Central Park. We're this spending like our whole of Saturday in Central. That's the only thing that we're doing Saturday is a proper exploration of Central Park. So all we're doing just now is literally going to walk through it. Mm -hmm. To get across to Serendipity where we're going to have ice cream for lunch because then we're adults and we're healthy and you know, we're at, at this point, there we've had no that much sugar. In New York. Yeah. Hey, they don't exist. There we go. That's the authority on it right there. Yes. Rules made. <laughs> hey guys, so we're just walking through Central Park um, to get to the end of the day. We're not supposed to be stopping, we're just transporting, using it as a means of transport. <laughs> transporting, transporting ourselves, ourselves through it. <laughs> exactly. It's just a shortcut, is what I'm trying to say. But look at the views. I mean, it really is an oasis of just incredible beauty in the heart of a city and I really enjoy the the fact that you're right here and you can be like you can go down there and be surrounded by trees or you can be here and have all the trees with that city skyline right behind you as well. well we're in Serendipity and we've all got desserts and they're all massive and they're all impressive. This is mine I've got the coverage portion of the banana split and it's still massive despite being the coverage portion. Jill's got the most attractive looking one I think. She's got all vanilla ice cream with just raspberry sauce and cream. It's just a raspberry sundae. Lins what is it you ordered Lindsay? It's a hot fudge sundae. Hot fudge sundae. Classic American sundae. And Lauren's got the iced lemon box. Thank you. And then look at the size of our actual drinks as well. It's just that cold, nothing that interesting. Yeah, like cold it's just Yeah, it's the biggest drink. It's wonderful. It's exactly what we need. Because we are not being at all hydrated. We haven't had anything since breakfast this morning, which was at half eight-ish. Hey guys, so it's post Gates Bay, post Bloomingdale's purchases have been made, but I'm sure there will be a video all about that. But we are now downtown in Who Kitchen and we've met Leon! I'm so excited. Thank you for this. Oh Lovely. sorry Lindsay, I'm on it guys. And we've met Leon! Hi! And here's Lindsay. Hello. No, not <laughs> I'm just eat, casually eating some broccoli in the very sophisticated <laughs> manner that I do. But, but we've got some amazing looking food. So I went for it's pulled pork sandwich, but like it's all paleo in this restaurant. So this is like focaccia, which is grain free, dairy free, good for you bread. Um, so Lauren and Jill, you guys both went for the lasagna thing. Yeah. It's vegetable lasagna essentially, um, made with cashew cream and marinara sauce. I believe. Oh, yeah. um, and then that roast sweet potato on the side, yeah, which looks good. Lindsay got the rotisserie chicken and broccoli and then what did you cook for? The Moroccan chicken thing or? Uh, no, it's like a sloppy joe but a healthy version yeah, with a uh, butternut squash and sweet potato mash and a healthy juice. Oh, okay. It really everything, I think I could have ordered anything off of the menu and been quite happy yeah, with it. Easily the healthiest thing we've eaten since oh, we've Yeah, and I think we're desperately in need of some healthy things. Our bodies are so happy that this isn't sugar. <laughs> and then drinks wise, I've got too many drinks, so I got an almond banana smoothie, but I can be a bit funny about almond milk, so in case I didn't like it, which I'm sure I will, I got an orange juice as well. 
And Lindsay got water. Well, the other I got water. water. But I'm gonna and it comes in the cutest little jars. Guys, we're out for cocktails and everyone else has arrived and they all look pretty. I mean, look at this straw. How cute is that? Leanne's been very sensible in not having alcohol. What's yours called, Jill? The tide is high? Yes. Tequila. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spin it around so we can see it. I would have done that thing around the moment. Then. And Lauren's got the back to basics as well. Yep. And like, I never order the exciting drink, so I'm usually not the one that gets the cool drink to the table. And Leanne's now got a cool polka dot straw. Yeah. <laughs> it's super cute. Oh, oh your straw looks That is it's it's like a cute red straw. Did you see that? Oh, fancy pants light. Look at that. Wow. There we go. See? Yeah. Even even your yeah. basic drink so here is very good. Exciting. Anyway, hi guys. So we're in a bar called Merler. 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 I've had too many cocktails already. And um, mother of pearl. So we went the amazing speakeasy that's called the Blind Barbers. That yeah, um, which was just the coolest thing ever. Do the back of a barber shop, like amazing. Um, so we yeah, did very very well. Thank you about that one for us. The parents of having yeah. someone who lives in New York. Yeah, super cool native New Yorker friend. Yes. So we're now in a bar called Mother of Pearl. We've got our cocktails. And then up there, there's moving palm trees on the wall. But this is the bar as well. Like, just look at how cool this place is. And then like down there, it's got like a little round table and it's just so cute. Like, how cool is that? Hey guys, so as usual, totally forgot to end this vlog. Um, it's now the next day, we are actually we're in a yellow cab, here's Lindsay. Hello! And we're on our way to the Gossip Girl Tour, which I'm so excited about. The two things I was most excited about in this trip were the Gossip Girl Tour, that was number one, and then the Natural History Museum was number two, but the Natural History Museum was like even better than I expected, so I now feel that's going to be hard to beat, but we're going to we're gonna give the Gossip Girl Tour a, a fighting chance. Um, so yeah, come back for tomorrow's vlog. Um, we'll go see what we went by and how exciting it was and how much we loved it because I'm sure we're going to love it. And yeah, make sure you're subscribed to come back for that and I will speak to you soon. Bye!